We are very, very excited to be right here at uh, Ridge and Midvale in East Falls, 4th Council District, 7th Senatorial District, and the uh, 2nd Congressional District. We're joined by a number of elected officials, uh, but uh, more formally, uh, I want to first and foremost say thank you very, very much uh, to uh, Governor Tom Corbett, uh, who is here with us uh, this afternoon, the governor and his team partnered uh, with the city to make sure that we were fully uh, prepared, uh, fully ready uh, for whatever uh, Hurricane Irene uh, was going to bring uh, to the city, to the region, of course, to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We're joined today by uh, both Congressman Chaka Fatah and Congresswoman Alicia Schwartz, State Senator Vincent Hughes, and City Councilman uh, Curtis Jones. Uh, we also have, uh, from the American Red Cross, uh, Judge Renee Cardwell Hughes, a number of members of, of the city administration, Deputy Mayors uh, Negrin and uh, Everett Gillison, uh, and a bunch of other folks who participated in this effort. Representatives from PEMA, uh, Pennsylvania Emergency Management uh, Organization, as well as FEMA, uh, the Federal Emergency Management Organization as well. It's a really great Philadelphian uh, governor who uh, took our advice, uh, followed directions, uh, and as uh, impactful as this event was, possibly will be considered one of the worst uh, hurricane storms, weather events uh, in uh, recent history. Uh, we were able to come through it because of the coordination between our respective governments and the federal government, city, state, and federal agencies all working in partnership with great citizens uh, following direction. Uh, and with that, I want to ask uh, Governor Corbett uh, to, uh, to say something. Governor, Mayor, thank you very much. And, and I do have Director Cannon with me. He's uh, already working behind there. Back here, Governor. Uh, okay. He's doing his job. Uh, and I want to compliment FEMA, FEMA for what they have been doing. Uh, but I particularly want to count, uh, compliment the Mayor and all of the city workers that have been working on this and the people of Philadelphia. You followed the instructions. Uh, and we know that that doesn't always happen. We ask you to stay off the streets. The mayor asked you to stay off the streets. Stay out of the way of the workers. That's great. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, from what could have been a very disastrous event, uh, I can tell you we have only three confirmed deaths statewide from this entire incident from a hurricane uh, that came right through the most populated centers of Pennsylvania. So I'm very pleased to see that we have developed a very good working relationship uh, between FEMA, FEMA and, and the counties and the city of Philadelphia in pre-positioning our equipment, working together, most importantly communicating, uh, addressing problems before they become big problems. And uh, everybody has their role to do. In the greater scheme of things, we always look to the local municipality, in this case the city of Philadelphia. You're in charge. It's your city. We in the state are there to help out, to support. We pre-position a number of pieces of equipment. Uh, Swiftwater uh, rescue people were all over from western Pennsylvania, came over to eastern Pennsylvania to support those Swiftwater teams that were here, and they were needed. The same thing is going on up in northeastern Pennsylvania, and in fact, I'm going to be touring up uh, that way tomorrow. Today, we came down, we flew down to the Pottstown, followed the Smoko River, down to Delaware, back up to here, into the northeast. We're going to go up out of uh, Bucks County and Allentown later today to see what's going on over there. But uh, so far, I am very pleasantly surprised and happy that people in Pennsylvania took this seriously, followed instructions, and kept themselves safe. Thank Governor, you. let me also mention, uh, I'm going to ask our elected officials to speak, but uh, we had a tremendous amount of coordination uh, between uh, the city administration, our Office of Emergency Management, Liam O'Keefe and his team, as well as the governor's uh, direct ability to uh, issue orders uh, with regard to deployment of the National Guard. Uh, some of those guardsmen, uh, men and women, were on the ground uh, in Philadelphia, and as the governor talked about, we also had pre-positioned equipment in a variety of locations, but also had at our disposal, if we needed them, hundreds of National Guard personnel in the city of Philadelphia ready to jump into action uh, should we uh, have needed uh, their assistance. Uh, and again, for that, Governor, I do want to say thank you very, very much. I want to ask our two members of Congress to speak first, Congressman Fatah's home district and his neighborhood, and Congressman Schwartz, uh, who has been a longtime representative uh, in the northwest section of the city. Well, as I indicated to the governor, that I believe that the White House is going to favorably consider the request for federal disaster relief. 
mayor and I uh, met with and toured the FEMA command center yesterday. And uh, obviously the preparation uh, really paid off. The mayor's done an extraordinary job. Now we have the school kill at about close to 14, but the Delawares continue to rise. Um, and as I said to the governor, you know, this is uh, not just a concern for Philadelphia. We get a, a little bit of spillage from the Delaware over into Penn's Landing. But this is a concern even as the storm has passed. We need people to act in ways that keep them safe and don't create situations for first responders who have to risk their lives in order to save people. So I want to just thank the mayor for his leadership. Uh, and I know that Senator Hughes and Councilman Jones uh, are really appreciative. And I want to thank the PICO workers who are keeping the power on, working day and night. Uh, and uh, really, the, uh, and Judge Hughes with the Red Cross volunteers in the shelter, including the one right here at Roxborough High School. So thank you. I wanted to come down and see what uh, was happening a little bit at the school river. I also want to thank the uh, the mayor, uh, governor, for visiting here. But the mayor's been on on top of this, and the cooperation between all levels of government is what should happen. We've learned a lot in the last few years about how to prepare for emergencies. Uh, we're well prepared ahead of time, and really communicated well with the citizens of Philadelphia, and because I represent Montgomery County as well. I'm going to say, because uh, I represent Northeast Philadelphia, we put an eye on the Delaware River as well, and uh, you know, flooding that may happen uh, there. And I do want to acknowledge uh, PICO and the encourage them to keep at it, uh, as I know that uh, Northeast Philadelphia and uh, Northwest as well both experienced it. It's pretty, it's pretty serious a number of outages, so I know people need to be patient, but uh, we'd love to see that uh, power back on as soon as we possibly can. So some of the beautiful trees we have here in Philadelphia that uh, cause some of those problems. But again, I want to just thank all the citizens of Philadelphia and the, the leadership here on the ground and, and FEMA. They've been very much in touch with us on the, on the federal level. So um, it's good to see everybody working together and, uh, and people safe. So over the next few days, we'll watch what happens. But the cleanup will take a little bit of uh, time to get done. Uh, I, I think we'll need to be patient about that and cooperate. But thanks to everyone for the good work that they've done over the last couple of days. Again, we want to thank everybody for, for the, the extreme level of coordination that's been exhibited in this in this process. Even though the sun is out right now and it's shining beautifully and, uh, across uh, East Falls and the area, uh, we do need to understand that level of communication, coordination, and how we've all looked out for one another still goes on. There still remains a lot of suffering, a lot of problems, a lot of neighborhood basements are full with water. Um, and in addition to that, there still remains a lot of anxiety that exists among many of uh, Philadelphia and the region's uh, citizens uh, about everything that has happened or could have happened. So it's really important for us to continue being Pennsylvania's best people, to look out for one another, stay connected with one another, and try to respond in a very personal way like we all do uh, here in Philadelphia and in Pennsylvania. But again, thank you to everybody, but it's still important to remain vigilant about what's happening in our neighborhoods and our homes. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 4th Councilmatic District. <laughs> um, a lot of times we judge things by what happens. I think sometimes we need to look at and judge things by what didn't happen. The governor and his leadership talked about the fact that we only lost, and not to minimize, three deaths, but it could have been worse. We've, we've had a number of Buildings collapse, uh, and the mayor uh, pointed out that no one was killed. There was not a fatality in the bunch, and that's because there is a sense of cooperation with the federal government, Congressman Futa, the Red Cross, city services were on top of their game. Uh, they, we had three shelters that were uh, had over 200 plus uh, people at some point in time come in and were treated with dignity. And for that, we are thankful in the Fourth Council Medical I just want to end with this because we talked about the National Guard and I think it's so important because a lot of these men and women are out there today have also served over in Iraq and Afghanistan. They are really, truly somewhat volunteers. And across the state, you have volunteers from across the state that came here to Philadelphia, uh, went over to Allentown, up to Bucks County, up into Wyoming County, and the people there. The vast majority of the people who are working as rescue people are volunteers, and I think you all, we all need to give them uh, a round of applause and thanks for what they do. And I'm going to encourage
encourage you all to help volunteer in the future. <laughs> the, uh, last message of the day. Uh, again, we want to thank uh, all of the participants, certainly uh, the governor, members of Congress, state senator, member of city council, uh, Judge uh, Renee Carwell Hughes, uh, Rick Cross, Romy Diaz uh, from PICO. Let me just say one thing, and it's been mentioned a couple of times. PICO really has uh, been uh, kicking it out. They've got about 4,000 people on the ground. They brought folks in days ago to get ready uh, for this event. Uh, they've been uh, turning that service back on, but as you can feel right out here, there is wind activity still in the aftermath of this storm. And so as they put some people on, unfortunately, trees are still going down uh, and uh, knocking others uh, out of service. They will get to you. It may take a little while, but they are doing everything possible. I was out at their uh, location uh, in Plymouth uh, earlier today. I uh, got a full briefing on that uh, issue as well. So uh, full trash service tomorrow uh, in Philadelphia. Septic system is up and running. Uh, city employees back to work tomorrow. Uh, the courts are open. Uh, we are doing everything possible uh, to uh, get us back to some semblance of normal. We expect, uh, and we are working hard, although there's not a lot we can do about it, uh, we actually expect that sometime tomorrow you might actually be able to see a roadway uh, back on uh, back on Kelly Drive. Uh, and I uh, don't know what time, uh, but we're working very, very hard to make that happen. So the biggest uh, thanks goes to the citizens of this city, the citizens of the Commonwealth, and many others along the eastern seaboard. When folks pay attention, when they do what we ask them to do, when everybody's engaged and involved, you see the positive things that can happen even in a time of potential great tragedy. And this is a testament to the great citizens of the city of Philadelphia. So, Governor, thank you again. Uh, you honor us by being here today. Thank you for the cooperation and the coordination. We were able to get through this because we all work together. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.